Hey, what's up? This is DJ Endo, instructor here at DubSpot and DJ product specialist for Native Instruments. In video one, I'm going to show you how I beat grid my tracks in Tractor Pro. To set my beat grid, first I'm going to load a track into the deck. And then I'm going to turn on the Q button, which is the headphone button on Tractor's mixer. And also turn on the tick up at the master section of Tractor. So now I'm going to find where I think the first kick drum is and click on it. If the grid panel isn't visible on your screen, you can actually click on the arrow below the active button to show the advanced section of Tractor. And then I'm going to click on the grid button down below. Now that I clicked on my first beat, I'm going to click on this marker icon. This is my grid marker icon. And Tractor will set a white cue point at the beginning of the track, which is the beginning of the beat grid. Now, once I have this beat marker set, Tractor is going to set a series of white lines across my whole track, marking where all the downbeats are in the track. I like to test out the grid marker by setting a four beat loop at the beginning of the track. Now you're going to hear this audible metronome over the track that I'm playing. Now you can hear that it's pretty close right now, but I'm going to need to shift the grid left and right to make it perfect. I can do this using the top two arrows in the grid panel. Now I'm going to shift the grid to the right so you can hear out sounds when the metronome is off. And then I'm going to shift the grid back to the left until the metronome is perfectly lined up with the track. It's kind of like tuning a guitar. Now I'm going to take the loop off and let the track play out. Now while the track's playing out, I'm going to click around to different parts of the track and listen to how the metronome's lining up with the track at different sections. Now at the end of the track, I like to set a four beat loop. And then I'm gonna use the bottom two buttons to change the BPM of the track. Now right now you can hear that everything's perfect. But if I change the BPM, you can hear how the end's going off. You can see that the reading for the BPM of this track is 125.000. This will tell me that Tractor has probably correctly analyzed the BPM of this track. Now that I have beat grids set for these two tracks, I can actually use Tractor's sync button to perfectly beat match the tracks. Now that I'm done, I just click on the lock button, and this will save the beat grid to the track's ID3 information. And that's the beat gridding in Tractor. Thanks for watching. For more tutorial videos from DubSpot, check out DubSpot's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash DubSpot.